Okay, here we are yet again with another video. This one having to do with your inverter cutting off in the middle of the night sometimes. Now this works on some inverters, some inverters it doesn't. I'm in a Kenworth. I can tell you that my Freightliners, the stock inverter that they come with, it, it doesn't work for that. They don't have this setting. Uh, the aftermarket ones I put in my Freightliners do, it just depends. This process that we go through, if you have an Eaton inverter, you can try it on any of them and you'll be able to find out if it has these settings or not. So the issue is the low voltage disconnect. Right there, you see that low voltage disconnect? You got these different options, 11.8, 12.2, 10.5. Lots of times it comes from the factory set at the highest voltage, meaning you've got the truck off, you're trying to sleep, the batteries, you know, they're already only at like 12.6. If they drop down to 12.2, which is fine, it cuts the inverter off because that's just what the settings are. So we wanna change that down to be 11.8 or you can do the 10.5 and then it will stay on all night long. So let's show you how to do that. Here's the one I'm working with right now. And I'm just pulling this out of the instruction manual. It's super easy, you can do it. You just gotta look at this, uh, how to get into the program mode so that you can change some of this stuff. And we follow these exact instructions in here. So to do it, turn on my inverter. And we need to enter program mode. You do that by pressing and holding the power button for two seconds. Sometimes it's already in there when you turn it on. Then you press select to cycle between the different modes. So right now there's my cutoff voltage. Press and hold power for five seconds. Now it will let me change. I can press select. Now my cutoff voltage is 12.2. Now it's 10.5. If I just sit here and leave this for five seconds, it will exit and now I can press select again to go check it and it didn't save it. Why didn't it save it? Let's try it again. Press and hold for five seconds. You know what, I think I needed to press and hold the, uh... so change it to 10.5, press and hold this for five seconds. Now it changed it. Now I can cycle between all my different settings and we can see I'm at 10.5. Personally, the way I like my trucks is at 11.8. I think that works well. So I'm gonna once again, press and hold power for five seconds. Change it to 11.8, that's what I want. Press and hold for five seconds on select. And now that's my setting. You can go through and change any of these settings. That's the one I think is the most important. That way the batteries have to drop to 11.8 before it'll cut off the inverter. They're, if you have good batteries, they won't get that low if you're sitting for 10 hours at night. And so that way your inverter will stay on. Everything's good. Hope that helps.